Hi there, I found this clockwork in the trash and I want to make it run again. Uh, the pendulum is missing and also the entire case and uh, well let's first take care of that pendulum. The problem is that I'm a bit an impatient guy so I don't want to wait for an hour to see if the clock works right. So I thought it must be a way to measure that with my oscilloscope. I attached a tiny clip microphone here near the escape mechanism. That's the thing that makes tick and tack. And I adjust it so that it is as close as possible to pick up the sound. The microphone is connected to my wireless transmitter here that acts as an amplifier. Then we go to the oscilloscope and we can see the ticks here pretty clearly. And because the ticks and the tacks are not always the same length, I'm measuring from tick to tick or from tack to tack and that should be exactly one second. Here you can see we have 1.03 seconds, so the clock is a little bit slow. And when the clock is too slow, that means the pendulum is too long, so I have to cut a little bit from that pendulum to make it right. And I shortened it by about 2 centimeters. Let's see how much that improved the situation. I'm measuring again and I see, see there is 1.014 seconds. So it's still a little bit long. We shorten it again. This time one centimeter. And it looks like it has become a little bit shorter. Uh, in the first measurement, almost a little bit too short, 988 micro, uh, milliseconds. But when I do a second measurement, we are pretty much bang on on one second. Next step is drilling a hole and a tap and insert this screw here to adjust or to fine adjust the timing. By the way, this clock has also a chime. I don't know if it's famous, but it's the Adler Gong from FMS Maute Uhren. The gong itself is also a pretty interesting mechanism. There is not only this long spring that makes the sound, there is also a pretty heavy cast iron block that swings along with uh, this spring and I guess it makes the sound a little bit nicer. <laughs> 